Today, I am going to explain the experiment 3 in physics 1, projectile motion. We already studied this projectile motion in chapter number 4. Am I right? Actually, this is an example for the object movement in two dimension. So, what is our objective of today's experiment? We are going to find the initial speed of the projectile launched at various angle of projection. That means, we are going to launch the projectile, that means object, at a different angles. So, when you just launch the object at different angles, we can easily find the initial speed. So, for this experiment, what we are going to do? We are going to use the main equation. This equation will be given R which is equal to V naught T cosine theta and from this, we can easily find the value of V naught. So, how you can rearrange? You can rearrange V naught which is equal to R divided by T cosine theta. R is the range, R is the range and theta is the angle, T is the time. So, by using this, we can easily find the initial speed. So, now, if you just see the schematic diagram, we are going to use different items today. The first one is projectile launcher and then we are going to use photogate which will sensor because some sensor will be attached here and then we are going to use the landing pad. So, inside this projectile launcher, I am going to put the projectile, I am going to shoot that projectile at different angles. So, what I have to do, when I just shoot this, this object will exactly come and touch this pad. So, once the object exactly hit this, the time taken will be recorded in the timer box. So, we have to connect one timer box with this photo gate and the landing pad. Clear? And then, we have to find the range. From what level you are going to shoot the ball and where it is exactly hit the pad. So, this distance is nothing but range. Clear? So, if you see the apparatus, these are all the apparatus today we are going to use. This is called as projectile launcher and this is plunger and here we are going to use again the same timer box. Here you are going to give the program time to gate mode. Clear? And then this is our landing pad. So, what you have to do? You have to shoot the ball from here. You can see here one photo gate is attached here. Inside there is a green color ball. This is nothing but our projectile. So, you have to shoot this ball and this ball will come and hit this pad. So, where it hits, from where it starts, that is nothing but your range. So, if you just see this object, there are there are different angles. You can just have a look here. There are some angles. So, what is your projectile? You can just have a look of this. This is our projectile. The ball is nothing but our projectile. So, what you have to do? You have to put this projectile inside and you have different angles. So, there is one thread. The thread is like an indicator. So, you have to fix the angle. If you see the table, our first angle is exactly 10 degree. So, the thread is exactly touching the 10 number that indicates the projectile is exactly at 10 degree. Clear? Let us see the paper, the table. Come here. <clears throat> this is our table. You can see there are different angles 10, 15 degree, 20, 30s. The angle details are given. And these two things you have to find, range as well as the time. The time will be given by the timer box and the range you have to measure by using the meter scale. Clear? So, I will just show you, uh, for, I will just show you the reading for the first angle and you have to repeat the same procedure for the rest of the angles because this experiment is a little bit lengthy. So, I cannot be able to show you for all the angles. Just have a look up the first angle. In the similar way, you have to repeat the experiment with the different angles. So, what is our first angle, my dear? Our first angle is exactly 10 degrees. So, let us we just see the apparatus. You can see here, there is an angle information. I exactly fixed at 10 degree. Clear? And here, there is one photo gate. You can see here, this is one photo gate. And this photo gate is connected with the timer box and then this landing pad is also connected with the timer box. So, that means from the launching 
to where the ball exactly hit the respective time will be given by the timer box so i already fixed 10 degree now what i am going to do i am going to shoot this that means uh, here it's a launcher when i just raise this what will happen the ball will come outside so before that i have to press to the first level you can just have a look here i have a plunger i have to press so now what i am going to do i am going to shoot this what will happen when i just tag this tag upward direction the ball will come outside of the projectile launcher here the ball is nothing but our projectile clear and here you have to give the program what program you have to give here time because we are going to measure the time and we are going to select the mode as 2 gate why 2 gate you can see here photo gate one one sensor will be here and another sensor will be on the landing pad so two sensors will be there that's what we are just giving the mode as 2 gate you can see here 1 gate fence 2 gate clear and then you have to press Start. Why? Because the apparatus is ready to take the reading. Understand? Now, what you have to do, the most important thing, you have to keep your eyes on this ball. When you are about to shoot this, the ball will launch at specific angle at 10 degree. It will come and hit this pad. It will come and hit this pad. So, you have to keep your eyes on the pad where the ball exactly touch. That's a very, very important because you are going to measure the range. From where you are going to shoot, where the ball exactly hits. And this distance, you have to measure by using the meter scale. And that is nothing but your range. Clear? Okay, listen carefully. I am going to shoot the ball. So here, we already fixed the program. Time to get. I have to press the star. Because once the star will appear, that means the apparatus is ready to take the reading. Understand? Because we have two sensors, photo gate one and another sensor is here. But now I am going to launch this ball at 10 degree. Here you can see here, 10 degree we fixed. We already fixed 10 degree. I am going to launch this ball with 10 degree. You can just have a look here. I have to make the ball to touch this pad. One, two, three. I think this reading is wrong, so I have to do it again. So again, I am going to launch. You can just have a look of this. I hold this tag. I am going to rise in the upward direction. Once I just move upward direction, the ball will be coming out of the projectile launcher. You can just have a look of your eye here. Where the ball is exactly going to hit, it's a very, very important thing. The ball is exactly touched here. You can see this answer is correct. Clear? So, the ball exactly touched this point. So, what you have to do, we have to write the reading. We have to write the reading here. You can see this. The time for 10 degrees is exactly 0.2542. So, I am going to write here. 0.2542. Clear? Time we find. But what is the distance? You can see the ball exactly touched this the ball exactly touched this point so i have to measure the distance from this point to where is exactly hit so that means i have to take the meter scale it start from here to hit this point you can just have a look here this side is in centimeter so 74.1 Better, I can just move a little bit here. 74.5. Clear? So, our answer for the range for 10 degrees, 74.5. So, I am going to write this value here. Our range for 10 degrees, 74.5. Now, measuring the value of T cosine theta is very easy. Take your calculator. Our T value is this. So, 0. Point 2, 5, 4, 2, cosine of, what is our angle? It's 10 degree. 10. What is our answer, my dear? Maybe the mode is wrong. So, I have to set the mode correctly. Because it is in radian. So, I have to first 
brother previously we got the answer in negative because the mode is given in terms of radian so you have to use your calculator in terms of degree mode so how you can just make you have to press this shift plus 9 you can just see first you can just format this okay so 3 people now you can see my computer my calculator is in degree mode so now I am going to calculate this clear now I am going to calculate this t cosine theta so what is my t 0 0.2542 0 0.2542 cosine of 10 degree what is our answer you can see here 0 0.2503 so I have to take only two digit I am going to write the value here 0 0.25 okay so this is the answer for 10 degree now what you have to do you have to repeat the same procedure for the rest of the angle so again you have to fit fix 15 how you can fix you can just have a look here again you have a knob here you can just have a look here you have a knob here adjusting this and you have to fix 15 degree see here is it 15 all right you can just have a look here it's 15. now again put the ball inside Make your program as time to get, release the ball, make the ball to touch the pad and by the time you have to keep your eyes on the ball where it exactly going to touch because you are going to measure the range and the most important thing, the time. The time is very, very important because with the help of the time and range, you are going to draw the graph. So just have a look here, how to draw the graph. Now, once you complete this table in this manner, you have to draw the graph so for what you are going to draw the graph r versus t cosine theta that means all these r values is in your y axis and all these t cosine theta values in your x axis so if you just draw the graph or it is in centimeter so better you have to convert it to meter and t cosine theta i have to take it in the x axis the unit for t is nothing but second clear now you know how to fix the point so fix the point very carefully after that connect the points with a straight line take any two points on the line this is your x1 value this is your x2 value this is your y1 this is your y2 so what's the slope my dear my slope is delta y over delta x so in y axis we took r value in x axis we took t cosine theta value my dear r over t cosine theta is our slope answer and the unit is meter per second now you have to see our main equation what is our main equation our main equation is also r over t cosine theta that means my final answer is nothing but r over t cosine theta is nothing but my slope so the slope of the the slope answer is nothing but your initial speed answer clear so v naught which is equal to slope so whatever the answer you get from the slope which is exactly the the value for the initial speed so what is our objective we have to find the initial speed which is nothing but v naught so in this experiment your slope is the answer clear so please my dear you have to repeat the experiment the most important thing fixing the angle if you made any mistake here what will happen it will reflect here and finally the the, the calculation of this v v naught will be different clear that's it so this is the explanation for your third experiment for this week projectile motion thank you